it is finally here. We got the Galaxy Note 10 Plus finally in the studio, meaning it's time for the drop test. We have it going up head to head against the iPhone XS Max, a phone that just a few months back beat the Galaxy S10 Plus in a drop test. And you know, with the Note 10 Plus being both heavier and bigger than the S10 Plus, you would think that it has a disadvantage here, but here's the thing. Unlike the Galaxy S10 Plus, the Note 10 Plus has the stronger Gorilla Glass 6, not just on the front like the S10 Plus did, but it also has it on the back. Samsung didn't cheap out this time and Hopefully, that means that we'll see a much more durable phone since most of the damage that the S10 Plus took last time was on that rear glass. So with that said, let's get right into it. Round number one, backdrop. In three, two, one. After the backdrop, both phones crack. It looks like the Note 10 did do better than what we saw on the S10 Plus, but still some significant damage. The iPhone, on the other hand, suffers only a few cracks compared to the all-out shattering on the Note, which may or may not be thanks to that protruding camera lens it has on the back, which did get a little more scuffed up than the camera lens on the Note, but overall, a worse result for the Note, giving the iPhone the win in round number one. Round number two, corner drop. In three, two, one. <laughs> After the side drop, both phones hold up pretty well. However, the stainless steel on the iPhone and its rounded corners do make the damage look a little bit less noticeable in person and even here on camera. So while it's not too much of a difference, it's a slight edge for the iPhone in round number two. Round number three. Face drop. Three, two, one. After the face drop, both phones once again see their glass cracked. However, this time it's the Note 10 Plus that fares significantly better. The iPhone's damage is definitely more spread out across that bottom left corner. And while the Note 10 Plus does have a hairline crack going up the left edge of the display, it can only really be seen under direct light like we have here, giving the win easily to the Note in round number three. Bonus round. Okay, so with both phones still going strong, we enter the bonus round, where we drop each phone up to 10 times from higher up. Last time, a major portion of the iPhone screen stopped working after just three drops onto the steel platform. So let's see if the Note 10 Plus can do any better. And at three, two, one. Big sound. Not a great look on the back. Ooh, okay, there you go. Some major damage going along the right edge. Yeah, we got a lot of shattering going on. So what, it took about five drops before it showed some real damage. Camera, looks like it's still working. And of course, the big test. Can we make an emergency call? Yep, we can do that, no problem. So, on to the next one. Three, two, one. Last one in three, two, one. For that last drop, ooh, lot of shattering all across the back. Ah, oh my God. Nice, a, a piece of glass in my finger. Question of course is after 10 drops, does it still work? Looks like all the portions of the display are still responsive. That's really good news. You can still use the phone. Can you make an emergency call? And the answer is, Yes. All right, so those 10 drops definitely hurts the Note 10 Plus. The phone's rear and front glass are extremely shattered, but the phone is still technically fully functional. Even that fingerprint scanner, which now has multiple cracks going across the sensor, still works. This is something that failed after a single drop on the S10 Plus, but it looks like Samsung made some improvements to the durability in this area. So an impressive result for the Note 10 Plus here in the bonus round. With all four rounds complete, 
let's take a look at the scorecard, with each round carrying equal weights since, after all, people don't usually drop their phones as much as we did in this test. Now, in the first round, the iPhone only cracked while the Note 10 Plus completely shattered. In the second, both phones did pretty well with the iPhone only doing slightly better. In the third, the Note 10 Plus took less overall damage to the front of the phone. And finally, in the bonus round, the Note 10 Plus was able to make it all the way through with flying colors, which helped the Note 10 Plus score more points overall, making it the winner in this drop test. Anyways, that is it for me in this video. Thank you guys for watching, and as always, I'll see you in the very next episode.